Jupiter. From the planet Jupiter. And I'm Luna from the moon. <laughs> And this big one here is the sun. <laughs> if we could live on another planet, it'd be nice to have a beach house on the sun. Oh, it'd be nice and summery there. <laughs> but the sun is in a planet, Jupiter. And it must be really hot there. Yeah, it is. Guy <laughs> wants to play too. And he's got... Mars! I want to live on Mars. Look, Mars is so high. That means Mars is farther from the sun. Ah! Uh, can we live on Mars? I think that... Hmm, I think if there's water, you can. See, Clyde, if there's water, we can live on Mars. But why does there have to be water? for us to live on Mars. Because where there's water, there's life. And if there's life, then it's possible to live there. And is there any water on Mars? Water? I wonder if there's water on Mars. I've got to know. Me too, Jupiter. I've just got to know. <laughs> What's happening here? What can it mean? There's water on Mars. By looking at Mars really closely. <laughs> Jupiter, Clyde, I know exactly how we can get a really good look. Let's dry off and go see Galileo. Now, let's find Mars. Hmm. Ah! Ah, uh, Chew. <laughs> uh, found it, Jupiter. <laughs> Plump Creek team, Mars in focus. Thanks, Galileo. Let's begin our study of the Mars surface. Don't forget to take notes, Scientist Luna. Well, Luna, is there any water? Hang on, Jupiter. We need to look calmly. I want to look after you. Wow! Mars looks like the moon, but red. I'd better write that down. My turn. Look, there are holes on Mars. I think they're swimming pools. Luna, Clyde wants to see Mars too. <laughs> It's big, huh? Mars is in between Earth and Jupiter. Neato! It is close to Earth, but far from the sun. You think those spots on Mars are really water? Maybe they're rivers, or maybe an ocean. It's an ocean, and it's full of furry fish with lots of eyes who are tougher than sharks. How are we gonna find out if there's any water in those holes on Mars? Look, it's Curiosity. <gasps> Curiosity, Jupiter. The robot they sent to explore Mars. That's it. Let's make believe we're robots and go on a mission to Mars. Yay! Yeah! And we can find the Martian fish, Clyde. <laughs> Oh. We're robots. I wonder if you can fly, like rockets. <gasps> it's curiosity. I think he's coming to take us fishing. Welcome, my explorer friends. How was the trip here? Very nice. Thanks, curiosity. 
The ride was a bit bumpy, but we barely even noticed. Huh, Clyde? Yeah, we're not scared of anything. <laughs> we're very excited to start our new mission. Where's the water on Mars? Which way is it? You see, our new mission is to find water on Mars. Ah, my tail is frozen! <laughs> Planet Mars registering temperature of negative 140 degrees Celsius. Negative 140? No! There's no place on Earth that cold. Now what? How are we supposed to go fishing in the cold? Right, Jupiter. If it's that cold, then the water must be frozen, like lakes in winter. Exactly, Robot Luna. Evidence of frozen water has been found on Mars. Yay! Then we could live on Mars. Yay! Here is where evidence of water was found. Looks like a good place for a beach house. Hmm? Curiosity. Is it ocean, water, or river? Evidence suggests that it is salt water. Like the ocean. This is the best experience ever. Let's pick out a place in front of the ocean full of furry Martian fish. We can live on Mars and spend our vacations back on Earth. For humans to be able to live on Mars, the planet would need to be terraformed. Terraform? That's the transformation of Mars into a place more like Earth. Do you think that Mars can be terraformed before next summer? Aren't there holidays before that? <laughs> Curiosity, how would life on Mars be? Life wouldn't be quite the same on Mars. <laughs> it's a planet different than ours. Whoa! Humans can't get there, not yet. But someday scientists are gonna find a way to get there. You can Part bear, part Bigfoot. Wow, and how do Martian bears breathe? With interstellar suits, because Mars doesn't have any oxygen. And we're going to have a beach house on Mars, right in front of the salty water, just like this one. A Martian vacation home? Sounds fun. It is. Galileo, would you like to see our new mission to Mars, though? These are drawings of our mission to Mars. I drew the one of the bear. Thank you, Jupiter. What a nice bear. I drew the Martian penguin, too. And Luna drew curiosity. Come on, Jupiter. <laughs> Grandma, Grandpa, Galileo, Captain, I'm Robot Luna. And this is Robot Jupiter and Robot Clyde. Yeah! We're going to tell you about life on Mars. Tell them about our Martian beach house, Luna. Hang on, Jupiter. <laughs> Life wouldn't be quite the same on Mars. It's a planet different than ours. Humans can't get there, not yet. But someday scientists are gonna find a way to get there, you can bet. The temperatures on Mars, they get really low. And there's not much oxygen, oh no. You'll need special clothes and equipment too to survive. Fantasy. There's not much water or gravity, but if 
But can we dance if we're not robots with space suits? Of course! <laughs> oh, oops! Captain's gonna fall my ball! Captain, bring that ball back! Excellent show about Mars, Luna! Thanks, Galileo! My tummy is rumbling. I think I'm getting hungry. I'll make a little snack. Again! That's so loud! I wonder why our tummies rumble when we're hungry. Do any other parts of our bodies rumble? Does Clyde's tummy rumble too? So many questions! La, la, la. 